You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. Cash Flat Library Funding Update. The fate of the Ash Flat Library came under light at the Ash Flat City Council meeting. By staff writer Lawrence Siebert. Cash Flat City Council held their monthly City Council meeting May 21st at the Ash Flat City Hall building located just past the stoplight. Builder and board member for the Ash Flat Library, Northern Green, was on the agenda to address the council concerning matters of the library. According to Green, the contractors have completed their tasks and the grant money has been spent bringing the library near completion. After bringing the council up to speed on the progress of the library, Green posed the most weighted question thus far. Now we come to the point of who is going to operate this library, said Green. When we set this up, we were all under the impression that we were going to lease it to the county, but our board has disagreements with the county and it's going to be up to the city. Since the beginning of the library building process, Green noted that they have received a lot of help from the Arkansas Library Association as well as several community businesses and private citizens throughout the area. We have a doctor from Pine Bluff that will be coming up and donating to Ash Flat and he has told us we would receive somewhere between 125,000 to 150,000 brand new books, said Green. The county was only going to allow us 1,500 a year. Green explained to the council that he felt the county did not have the Ash Flat Library's best interest at heart. The county has already told me they are going to run it the way they want to run it. I have noted in here that they are only going to be open about 20 hours a week, said Green. They don't know if they want to accept the free books and that if it is a county-operated library they will not allow volunteer help. Green told council members that the board was willing to continue for an additional six months to help ensure it had a strong start. Our board would like the privilege of going in and getting the library up and running. We figure it's going to take us about six months to get our books and get them on the shelves and get the computers up and running, said Green. We have a computer company that will put in the program for us and run it. If we have a city library we could advertise on the computer and advertisement will pay for all the computer programming and the operation of the computers. Because the original plan was to have the county take control of the library, Green acknowledged that he was aware of the burden the city was facing should they accept the responsibility of it. I understand the city's got other money problems, but in the next few months the city will have to decide who will operate this library and how it's going to be operated, said Green. The state tells me that if the city appoints a board of five to seven members, the city will have total control and the sky's the limit. You can use this building for anything you want. Green gave an overview of some of the plans to get the library ready over the next six months should the city allow the board to continue. What we need to know is do we have the right to go ahead and start putting the books in, getting the computers up and running and set up the internet at this time or not and if we can begin getting into the operating of the library instead of just building it, said Green. If the library were to be run without volunteers. The ALA stated that $75,000 a year would run the full-time library. That press time, if the board were to continue, there are enough volunteers for the Ash Flat Library to be run for the next six months. We have enough volunteers so that we won't need an employee. We plan on getting it up and running, with volunteer help which is legal to do it for the city-operated library, said Green. I have a newcomer to the area that is a mechanical engineer that is helping me do this. I also have a woman that has 10 years in library experience that just retired and came back from Missouri. She will take over telling us where books will go, how to tag them and categorize them. So, we do have experienced help coming in. One council member asked Green, if the city were to choose to let the county have control, would the board continue to set up the library? Green explained that if the city were to give the green light, that the board would continue on regardless. We will get it running either way, it doesn't have to be decided right now. But over the next couple months it must be decided, said Green. Cash Flat Mayor Danny Tra stated he would like to take some time to research it further. I have been looking at ways to fund the city-run library, said Tra. We want this library to be usable for everyone. I think the best thing is just to go ahead and get it up and running if we can find a way to do it we will and if not we will have to turn it over to the county. We want it accessible to the people who are going to use it during times that are convenient to them because if it's only going to be open a few hours a day, the working public can use it, said Clerk Charlotte Goodwin. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle, audio on the go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.